Hello. So here I am. Like it's been a little since the last recorded. I didn't record last weekend, like I usually do. So I'm recording on a on a Friday, uh, the first of September. Uh, that should be interesting. So we go going on here. Uh, I think I'm on chapter seven, chapter seven or eight. So about halfway through this game right now. What do I, oh, I don't have to go very far. Because I wanted to talk about a couple things first. And I, I mean, I might just go around and do some fighting first and I go back over there. Yeah, because I wanted to talk about, um, how recent movies I've watched. Uh, well, I recently watched the Mario Baba movie, or rewatched the Mario Baba movie, Shock. Which is also known as Beyond the Door 2, depending on where you're from. And it has... Apparently it has nothing to do with the first Beyond the Door movie. It's just a sequel in name only, I guess, but it... But apparently the first Beyond the Door, and I've never seen it. But apparently it's a rip-off of The Exorcist. Which, you know, I, I kind of do want to see it, just because I'm curious. Even though I know it's not that good. Um, you know, I'm, I'm curious to check it out. I probably eventually will, but... What I wanted to talk about, since it's Italian cinema, um, Shock from 1977 is Italian movie titles, and what I wanted to particularly uh, address was confusing movie titles. You know, how I was just saying that the alternate title for Shock, or one of the alternate titles for Shock, is Beyond the Door 2, because in Italy, You'll have probably, I don't know, a hundred different titles for a movie, uh, you know, wow, it's an exaggeration, but it gets confusing because, okay, so over here you have, you know, George Romero's Dawn of the Dead, which over in Italy is known as Zombie, you know, in that area, that's, you know, the European, uh, cut of it, but there's another movie called Zombie by Lucio Fulci, which Fulci made to, uh, you know, cash on the success of Dawn of the Dead. And that's where it gets confusing because, okay, you, because you have Zombie 2, which is full to use, full to use Zombie in, in Europe is known as Zombie 2. But here it's known as just Zombie. And then you have another movie called Zombie 3. And then there's another movie called uh, Burial Ground the Knights of Terror. And another title for that movie is Zombie 3, depending where you're from. So, it, uh, my point is it can get very confusing, and I, you know, I figured I'd talk about that. Um, because I, I might do this training. I wanted to talk about that because uh, James Ralph had talked about it on his channel. I've been wanting to talk about it because I think it's an interesting, interesting topic. Uh, maybe not to everybody, but, you know, those who are into Italian cinema, it's like, I'm glad over here... It's not super confusing. Um, but it's just funny how that happens. Uh, I guess I'll do the Warrior Arts one. You know, and I... And it's just funny because, you know, the in, it, in Italy, they, you know, they, they put out... You know, Italian horror and sci-fi, when they were putting those movies out... Um, they did it on a cheap budget, but they'd be able to put out a lot of movies in, in a short amount of time. So you even had rip-offs like, um, this movie called Contamination, which is a rip-off of Alien. You know, their version of Alien, I, I, I guess. Apparently I have to fight Kamekai, or how do you say his name? I don't know if I'll win this, but I figured I'd try it. Oh, I can't. I can only do the style, I think. Okay. Oh, 
But it's just interesting to me, because even with like Bruce Lee movies, you know, alternate titles, and it can be kind of confusing, because you have, okay, the big boss is known as Fist of Fury, and another title, Return of the Dragon, is The Way of the Dragon, but Return of the Dragon is not the sequel to Enter the Dragon, because it came before. You know, that's what I originally thought when I had seen, when I was, you know, I'd seen those movies for the first time, was... I thought there was a sequel to Enter the Dragon, but it, uh, it came out a year before, when, when Bruce Lee was, was starting to get big, you know, and, uh... It's interesting how that's even the case with Asian cinema. Not not so much with Asian cinema. More so in Italian, more so with, you know, it, 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 Italian cinema. Uh, I might have to do this over. I'm not doing so hot here, yeah. And I don't have a lot of health items either, but... I don't know, it's just an interesting topic to me, and, and you know, if you have anything, any thoughts on that, let me know, because I'd like to know your thoughts. What do you think these uh, confusing Italian uh, movie titles that, uh, you know? I mean, some of them are pretty sleazy, like Burial Ground, Burial Ground, The Knights of Terror. I'm gonna have to do this over, but I can come back later when I'm more prepared for it. I don't know, maybe I will, but even if I lose, hey, at least I tried and I, I can do this. Cause I don't, like I said, I don't pop items here. I should have bought some before I did this, but I didn't know it was going to be so tough. I guess I can lose health here, but... Okay. Yeah, I'm like almost out of health here, aren't I? I mean, I don't think it affects this. Yeah, that's easy. That's easy enough. I'm not doing so good here. Um, and I don't know. I mean, it's just... I'm gonna focus on this. Okay. And I just don't want to get beat up right after this. Because when you lose health when you're, when you're learning a new move, it doesn't, it doesn't count against you. Well, it does, but... You can't die. Ah, do I have to do this over? I guess so. Well, I don't, or do I just start from there? Is what I'm wondering. With full health, because I mean, I, I could. Yeah, I'll have to do this again later. At least I tried, you know. Yeah, I, I need to get health items. I have like none. So well, there's a store nearby, so that's good. I just hope I don't get any fights on the way. Do I have anything I can? So that's bait for fishing, which I'll have to show that later. There's beer. Yeah, it gives me a little bit, I guess. I mean, <laughs> and I, I mean, and so I just got. Another thing I want to talk about was, is I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, 
I got just got done watching the movie called uh, it's uh, Suicide Club. It's a Japanese, um, you know, horror type of movie. Yeah, it's basically about um, you know you have these high school kids there that commit suicide, and uh, you have this detective in his group, and they're trying to investigate it, and they find out what suicide is going to take place from this hacker. And apparently there's a, there's a sequel called um, Noriko's Dinner Table, which I haven't seen, but I probably should get around to it because, because from what I've heard, it, it, it kind of elaborates on the story, and uh, I think I can get food. Now I'll go somewhere else. Yes. I'm going to take... I think I'm gonna do that again, and then and then I'll probably do something else. But yeah, I really enjoyed Suicide Club. I haven't. I haven't, it's been a while since I've seen it. A couple of years. I figured, eh, why not watch it again? Um. Um. But yeah, what what I'm I get at is so the movie it opens with the this group of uh, you know Japanese schoolgirls and so they jump off a, a train platform you know from an oncoming train and and so they get you know hit by that and there's blood and and whatnot uh, all over the place and I was thinking of the Bob Dylan album um, blood on the tracks during that scene it's like oh yeah I mean, because I enjoy Bob Dylan's music, and I don't know if that, if they got inspiration f from that, you know, album title for that uh, part in the movie. I was just thinking that. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. I'd recommend it if you're into Japanese horror. Um, it's very different from, from most Japanese horror, though. It's not very... I mean, the story kind of goes... Uh, I mean, yeah, you have the main plot, but there are a lot of things that uh, have uh, rounded the story. Like you kind of learn what, where the, you kind of learn about how the Suicide Club, you know, what, what causes the teen to commit suicide and, and yeah, I'm ready. Oh, okay, so I have to start from here again. I should do better this time, though. <laughs> Because I hadn't seen it in quite a while. Um, I don't know what else I wanted to talk about. Um, I don't know, it's just funny how I have a friend who's from Japan. Um, so I tell him, I've told him about, you know, the Yakuza games before. This game in particular, Yakuza 0. He's so funny because he's not from here. Like, and isn't English is, isn't his first language? So then he'll kind of like not he'll like forget to say something when he's talking. Then we'll not, and I may not know what he's talking about. <laughs> but I think uh, you know I I think everybody uh, you know I think by being exposed to, to English, he's learning it. You know, he's getting better at it. It seems like so that's good. Um, and I tell him about, you know, I've, that I've been watching Go Go, Go 13. Um, and he really wants to go to Fanime next year. Which I'm probably going to go as well. I, I've gone for the past three years. You know, and he seems interested in it. I, when I go, I always hang out with a friend of mine and his, his, his friends. Uh, we go to panels and, and whatnot. And, uh, 
I was sure I'm, a, I'm a more of a casual anime fan, but I still... And I think with the anime, there's something for everyone. Even if you're not the most hardcore fan of it. You know, even if you, like me, even if you like Japanese, you know, or Asian cinema, you, you still can find something you like. Yes. And I, I, and apparently he, 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 you know, he worked there. He, so he had to drive, I think, about an hour to Tokyo to, to work. You know. Which I don't know if it's like in this game how you have a character who lives, maybe his, his apartment is nearby the city, but, it, you know, like, or within, because I don't. I don't understand this game is, doesn't quite take place in Tokyo. Okay. That's easy. Uh, I think after this I'll do that main mission. This is a sub story that I I wanted. To, I figured yeah, I might as well start with a sub story, get some fighting in, you know. He's tough though. He is. He is fast, but he's not that difficult once you once you figure out his pattern. I mean, I just think of one of the most frustrating boss fights I've had was uh, Batman Arkham Origins when you had to fight Deathstroke. And there was a pattern to which I couldn't quite figure out. I had to watch some, uh, you know, some videos on that on YouTube. Because I needed help with that. And it took me a while and I was like, oh, I eventually got it. It's just... It's a very frustrating boss fight if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, of a chapter, usually. Um, okay. Get out of that area there. And they're not so much frustrating as they are about uh, just knowing what, when to, you know, follow a pattern. Cause they're not as complicated as the Batman game, you know, at Arkham Knight or what, or Arkham War, yeah, Arkham Origins, I think I said Arkham Origins. But that's what I meant to say, if that's not what I said before. The one, yeah, where you fight Deathstroke. For those of you that have played that game. And I don't know, another thing I want to address, I've been getting a lot of spam lately. Uh, in two, two cases on YouTube. On these on these videos, people are going to be commenting to check out their Instagram uh, pages, but I don't have Instagram, so I don't I don't care. So to me, it's just spam. You know, I use Twitter, I use Facebook, and Google Plus, and that's it. Um, I we'll have to get some more of these after, but I have enough, I think, for the rest of this.
But yeah, I just, I just don't really care about Instagram, you know, and I don't care that... So I'm, I might have to somehow change the comments so they can be approved. Or just delete those. I mean, I haven't noticed a lot of that lately, but it's, it's happened, and it's kind of annoying. And lately on PSN, I've been I've been getting um, you know PSN their messages uh, from from bots where you'll say, "Oh, check out my webcam." You know, how old are you? Do you want to? My my friend got me into this. Do you want to check out my webcam? Kind of thing. And it's like no, so I just block them. And I've got those messages before on Skype, so I don't know if those bots managed me to track me down here on PSN. Because yeah, uh, those accounts aren't linked, and I don't think they can be. Um, and I don't use Skype that often anyway, but I have it. Because I ever need to use it. Because I have a few people on there that, that you know, I've talked to before. Um, but yeah, that was... Those, I remember... You know, you're always going to run into bots on the internet. That's just, you know, part of the internet. And usually, I, you know, I'll troll them and then I'll block them or, or, you know, something like that. But yeah, it's just, I don't really care for that kind of stuff, you know? Um... So I don't want to get too cocky here fighting this guy, because I hate to have to do this over, and I usually... I figured, you know, I figured this be this fight didn't. At least I don't have to fight a bunch of guys. I figured that would have taken longer. This is fast, but I think once you kind of get the hang of it, it's not too bad. Okay, and I'll probably just buy more health items after this, and then. Uh, all right, awesome. That wasn't too bad. Yes, I agree. I guess it is kind of funny. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Maybe even strike, maybe. I'm, uh, that's gonna be pretty useful, I think. Ah! Ah! Ha! Ha! Okay. See you later. So there's five. And I think this is also a sub I'll have to do this one later. Um, but I'm gonna go... Get some more health items, and I guess I'll go and do that main uh, story mission. So I'm not too far. Oh, my God. 
Nice as a bat. Kajima bikers. Cool. Okay. So this one, I don't know what's the difference between. Is this it? Which is funny because it looks like a clo- yeah, I guess it's a clothing store. Uh, primarily... Buy items? I also have to take... Yeah. No problem. Okay, so I have to go back that way, don't I? I don't know what I'm supposed to do with those. We'll have to figure it out. Hmm. Excuse me. Can I go up here? No. I don't know if that far off, so that's good. Um, I think this is where I'm supposed to go. This massage parlor or whatever it is. Yeah. Okay, who's here? So this is where he had to go to assassinate the uh, the girl that worked there, the blind girl. But he ended up helping her out. He didn't kill her. Okay. Who's this? Who are you? That's true. Okay, well, uh, make sure they're clean first because I might have blood on them. Oh, well, I, I guess he's doing alright then. He doesn't look like a doctor. Uh, yeah, I can't tell if he's speaking broken Japanese because it came in. Because uh, some, character, some uh, characters in the game do speak broken Japanese. Which is interesting because... You wouldn't really think that people in Japan do. You know, but I guess it makes sense um, that some people would, if that's not their native language. Jambalaya, like, like the food. That sounds pretty good. Pretty much, I mean... Sure, go ahead, I mean... Well, 
Yeah, you, you probably doesn't want to know that either, but then you just end up kicking him in the stomach. <laughs> That's a way to get a point across. I mean, I, I, I mean, I guess being, uh, I, I guess the fact that he wants to get back into the Yakuza, he kind of has to do that to, you know, for people to get into, get in, get in his way. Um, I don't know why I found that funny, but I guess I have to fight these guys, goons. Okay. This baseball bat makes me think of um, Casey Jones from Ninja Turtles, how he uses uh, sports equipment uh, as weapons. Well, if I'm a Ninja Turtles fan, I don't know if I've said that before, but I do enjoy TMNT. You know, I've, I've liked him since I was a little kid, basically. I mean, this is like that. 80s cartoon since I w started watching that. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's too bad there's not any decent Ninja Turtles games nowadays. I mean, there was that one that came out it was about a year ago or so, but it, uh, it wasn't very good. Apparently. Which is sad because it, there, the, there should be there needs to be a, a, a Turtles game that's really good. I mean, I don't think there has been since Konami was making them, you know? I mean, not, not all those were, were necessarily top-notch, but I think they were better than the, uh, the ones that, than the more recent ones. Um, and this is another training um, thing you can do. So I've done this once already. Um, this is uh, another sub-story, so I'll probably have to come back to this later. Um, these jumpsuits, though, maybe you think of uh, Bruce Lee in Game of Death. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Is it this way I'm supposed to go? No, I don't think so. Yeah. I wonder if I have to fight anybody. Oh, so 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 cool to almost to that day. I'm going to get there. Well, hopefully, that's not too much of a problem. So, I go, I go, so there. And to or in a crew, to me, to see a touch. Yeah, I guess. I mean, uh, considering the size of his hands, I mean. Well, <sighs> あんたもええやろ。せっかくこないなところまで来たんや。わしは一度な。殺し屋中人種とマージャン打ってみたかったんや。ちょっ。怪我人にしちゃ元気そうにしとるやねんが。あ、ほ抜かすな。死ぬほ
I suppose he does have that look. なんで殺し屋なんかやっとるんや。なあ。顔見ただけで何がわかるっちゅ。オンドレみたいなアマちゃんが生きったところで誰もビビらんでいい。わしにはわかるんや。なんでも。Oh, I, thought, I thought I was actually going to play the game. I didn't know it was just going to be played out like this. No, she's okay. Heta Utta やつらはなんであの女狙うとる。そんなもん。お前の雇い主に聞けや。そいつも誠狙っとんのやろ。プリマ。ザ。狙われとんのは。お前らが公盛の入れ墨嗅ぎ回ってるせいなんとちゃう
you know, more difficult that is than uh, than when I'm because I believe on the on the I'm on the medium setting, which I usually play games on medium or normal difficulty. Okay. That should be effective enough, though. Yeah. Do I have to find anybody else? I don't know. And if that's it, that's okay with me. Well, now. Yeah, you certainly did. あの女がなんで狙われとるか知りたいだけ。誠の狙われる理由が河森の入れ墨の男や言うんやったら多分関係ないで。なんでそんなに行く。誠からなんも聞いとらんねやな。あの女がお前に聞け言うたんや。あの
わしの話はこれでしまいや。あの女は小福町通りの春ビルの中におるオデッセイいう店が倉庫に借り取る場所やお前わしにまこと返してもうてええんがまことのことを殺さんで雇い主とどないなしつけんねえー、he can, he can tell... それにまことも結局代わりの殺し屋に追われるだけやせやったらどないせっちゅう逃げきれんこともないで一つだけわしらもお前もヤクザから逃げきれる手がある How is that gonna happen? せやけどそれは激悪じみた手や大事なもん守るためにはそれに見合う犠牲が必要になる、uh, あんたの協力も必要や俺の協力せやただわしの考え聞く前にやるかやらんかこの場で答えてもらわなあかんでやどんなことでもやるかそんだけの覚悟があんたにあるかどの道このままやったら俺はしまいややるかやらんか聞いとるんやどうなんやえやろやったろ。Do it。そうか。わかった。<笑>せやったらあんたはマコトンとこに早帰り。Sure thing。今日んとこはあの子の面倒を見たってくれ。は、huh? ？わしには急いでやらなあかんことができた。何する気ないあんた。メドがついたら教える。それまでは秘密や。この先あんたと連絡つけるにはどないしたらいい ?Just call him. I mean. Oh. キャバレーグランドや。夜になったらそこにおる。俺はそこの支配人。ほんまかあんたがあのグランドの。飲み代は心配すな。俺のおごりや。ふん。わかった。とにかく夜になったら連絡する。マジーマー名前はマジーマーマジーマーコーラー See you later At least Lee wants to help out. I, mean, I thought I was gonna have to fight him, but I'm glad I don't. Um, I don't know what I want to do. Uh, where do I have to go anyway? Oh, I don't feel like going there right now. I might get into a few more fights. I don't know. Pay the price, come on. Suck to be hit like that by a baseball bat. All right, forty-four hundred thousand yen. Not bad. So maybe I could see if I could do some fishing now. I don't know if there's any fish. Yes. I mean, I can, I can quit if there's nothing. It doesn't look like there's a lot of fish right now, but...
Yeah. You know what? There's one right there. So, what you have to do... They get it hooked. No, I don't want to quit. So then you press a button. You have to press the button repeatedly. In my case, this is a triangle X button. So then I got a silver arowana. In some cases, you get uh, special items. I have to do it again. Why not? I'll do it over here this time. But it's pretty easy once you figure it out. Um, basically, the fish will turn red. You can't move the rod, though, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but I don't know if it's working out. Yeah, there's a couple fish here, though. <laughs> Over there. Oh. Oh. Ah. Cast. And I don't know how to get other rods, but I, I guess there are other rods you can get. You might have to buy them or something, I don't know. Yeah. You have to wait, but you know, I think... Uh, yeah, yeah, I could try one more time, I guess. I'm gonna do that. Because they don't move around. Well. See, he's not even. Bait's not even attracting the fish. Is it? There you go. That's a big one, too. Okay. So it looks like I got him. Yeah. Snakehead. Cool. Well, I think I'm done fishing for now. Um, but I hope that helped you if you're trying to figure out how to fish in this game. I mean, it's pretty easy. Like I said, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty fun, too. Um, but I think I'm done recording for now. Um, I think I'll stop here. And I'll pick this up. You know, record it again in another week or so. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Don't leave uh, Instagram spam comments because I don't use Instagram and I probably never will. But thanks for watching nonetheless. Bye now.